this guy right here. It'll lay the black mulch down, and then it'll also lay a line under the plastic so uh, the sweet potatoes can get some water. All right, when I get hooked up, I'll show you guys because uh, this is taking about 25 minutes longer than I thought it was. That is a miracle. So we're just gonna hook up the middle one and uh, we can take it off. to the shop picked up my mulch and our drip tape there uh, Dave's just working in the fertilizer with the grouse and uh, this is what we're planting with this beauty right here everybody's going let's put some mulch on the ground yeah well we finally got a GPS figured out so I'm just gonna right now it says I'm off 25 inches so I'm just gonna make it my center because I feel like it's pretty close to the edge. So hit C. And then uh, I'm just gonna do a pass without laying mulch to see where we end up. See if it looks alright. And then if we're good to go, we'll start laying some mulch. So I'll engage my GPS and uh, the tractor will keep it straight. So it's pretty sweet. This GPS was an add-on kit. This tractor didn't come with GPS. It's pretty old, I guess. I'm not sure what year it is. But anyways, you pull off the steering wheel, and then there's a little motor in this casing, and uh, it communicates with that, which communicates with the receiver on the roof, which uh, communicates with the satellite. So helps uh, everything look straight and nice. So. This uh, dry pass goes good, then we'll start laying some mulch. Alright, well, I dry passed it pretty good. So, uh, looks like that should work. See our tracks there. So, we'll drop our mulch layer. And, uh, we'll get ready to go. Okay, I'll show you the mulch layer really quick. This is, uh, it's called drip line, goes underneath the plastic. And that's how we'll get water to the sweet potatoes. All right, I got a plastic laid down. This comes under here with the, those rollers and those wheels. We'll push on it, you'll see as we're going. I right, shovel some dirt on it. Um, usually if you have two people, somebody will just stand back here and hold it uh, until you get started. But if you're by yourself, shoveling some dirt should hold it so it's on back up in here and hopefully it works so get everything ready to go um engage your gps should click at me yep see mulch layers all the way down looks like it's rolling and our drip line is moving too, so I know everything's good. We'll uh, go out there and check, make sure everything's uh, how it should be. So, just stop for a second. We'll check it out. All right. So this one, this mulch layer is a raised bed, so it'll. Pull dirt in with these shovels. There's a big blade here and two blades in the middle here. Another blade on that side. <laughs> pull dirt in, this roller will go under, flatten it, and then here you can see our mulch right here on these rollers. And then this is where our drip line goes in, right under the middle of the mulch. And then those wheels hold it on to the side of the hill. And then these discs, we'll throw some dirt on. So let's dig it up. See what it looks like. So we got a little bit of a lip there. Uh, to be honest, 
It'd be nice. This is four foot mulch. I think they do 52 or 56. It'd probably be a little bit better size for us, but that's what we got. Hopefully it holds and the wind is nice to us, but um, yeah. There goes Dave just doing his last pass with the crows. And uh, we got a lot of drip delay tonight, so we'll get back to it. Alright, well we gotta do some adjustments. So there's the two roller guards that keep the plastic in the middle. Uh, we're a little too tight and it snuck under that one. When it snuck under, it actually came off and 30 feet back I had a fix a uh, mistake. So I ripped the plastic, so I had to do a splice. So we're just gonna adjust this guy over. And then, and then hopefully the roller stays where it's supposed to. I'm an idiot, so when I set it up, back here, uh, there's two rollers here. Uh, the mulch is supposed to go in between, and when I threaded it, I put it on the outside. So, uh, it wasn't holding very good, or catching that wheel. So, I'll uh, cut it out, back up, and relay it the right way. So, good times. Well, since I'm pulling this mulch up, and redoing it, you can see what it looks like. So, pretty much, it'll make a bed under the under the mulch, and then these are water right down the middle, and we'll hook it up down on this end, um, and we'll do this whole corner. We do the raised bed and mulch uh, to create more heat, and sweet potatoes like heat. So, hopefully. We'll grow good sweet potatoes. We'll see. Never tried it, so guess we'll find out. Alright, well we're on our second pass now. Hopefully this will be a bit better. You can see there's my first pass job. And right there is my second pass job. Hopefully those are the only two pass jobs tonight. So we'll see what happens. Here goes pass number three. So, seems to be working all right. Uh, as you guys have kind of noticed, it's a pretty repetitive process. So, we'll throw on a time lapse and uh, lay some mulch. Yep. Shutting down. The sun's kind of starting to come up, but I don't know. You can probably see it. I think I don't know, 60 rows or something. So pretty good. Pretty good dent in it.